Hello everyone. So today uh, we are going to talk about the equilibrium constant and standard free energy change. Okay, so let's discuss this. Uh, earlier we have discussed that at equilibrium the change in gives free energy at constant temperature and pressure will be equal to zero, right? And uh, we know that this is a total gives free energy change at constant temperature and pressure will be equal to zero. And we know that that is equal to summation of mu i nu i right and of course this this is or you can write in uh, change in stoichiometry uh, sorry extent of reaction this is a stoichiometry coefficient and this is the extent of reaction so you can write this is equal to mu i nu i is equals to zero fine now let's consider uh, consider a chemical reaction so consider a chemical reaction so the reaction is a capital a plus b gives you uh, c c plus d d okay so you can uh, also write this uh, in terms of chemical potential so here you can write like this mu a the c from here right so this is a stoichiometric coefficient to so small a is a stoichiometric coefficient and mu a is the chemical potential of component a then b mu b and c mu c plus d mu d okay at equilibrium we know that at equilibrium reactant reactant is equals to product fine so uh, then mu i is equals to uh, c mu c plus d mu d minus a mu a plus b mu b is equals to zero let's take this as our equation number one now we know that chemical potential of component any component or any species chemical potential of any component or species it is given by mu i is equals to rt ln of fi bar plus c so it, you can write in terms of fugacity let's take this as the equation number two and now at standard state so mu i naught is equals to rt ln of fi naught plus c this is our equation number three c is here it is an integral constant and this is at standard state this is a given state at same temperature these two re, uh, equations at same temperature so now from equation number two and three from equation number two and three we get mu i minus mu i naught is equals to rt ln of fi bar minus rt ln of fi naught so mu i is equals to mu i naught plus rt ln of fi bar upon fi naught and we know that what is this this is activity coefficient uh, activity right so this is equals to ai right this is activity so you can write in terms of activity mu i mu i naught plus rt ln of ai and this is your equation number four now express the chemical potential for all components uh, as that equation number one and substitute into the equation number four so mu i is equals to c mu c naught plus this is a small c and this is a capital c d mu d at a standard state minus a mu naught a plus b mu naught b plus rt ln of a i right and that will be equal to zero so this mu because mu i is equal to zero so this will be equal to zero okay so then our equation is become c uh, this is c mu naught c plus d mu naught d minus a mu naught a 
प्लस बी म्यू नॉट बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस आर टी एल एन ऑफ ए आई वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन इक्लोरियम कॉन्स्टेंट दैट यू कैन राइट दिस एक्टिविटी दिस इज वॉट एक्टिविटी ऑफ प्योर कंपोनेंट आई राइट सो यू कैन राइट दिस टर्म इन प्रोडक्ट अपॉन रेशियो ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ओवर रिएक्टेंट सो ए सी स्मॉल सी राइट ए डी स्मॉल डी अपॉन ए A and A B B fine and this is what this is equals to chemi uh, ke equilibrium constant K so here and this term we know that this is what summation of mu y not and uh, D uh, C D uh, these all small letters represents the stoichiometric coefficient so nu i is equals to minus R T L N and this is what this is equilibrium constant. We know that we have already discussed this in our previous uh, video. So this is R T L N of K and mu i not uh, mu i not mu i. We know that this is what change in gives free energy at a standard state is equals to minus R T L N of K. So here you can see. So from this equation we can conclude. that uh, equilibrium constant can be determined by uh, standard gibbs free energy and temperature delta g is depends on three factors first is temperature second is at standard state of each component and each species involved in the reaction and the number of moles involved in the stoichiometric equation